you can see now that we've cultured our bacteria and it started to grow. One of the problems we have is that it's difficult to see due to the condensation. So again, this time, I'm going to use my pretend agar plate. And, of course, a brand new agar plate, fully sterile and never used before. As you can see here, we've got a furry area that's a fungus. And we've got some smooth areas that are our bacteria colonies. We want one of our bacteria colonies. The purpose of today is to take one bacteria colony and to spread it onto a brand new agar plate. So the whole plate ends up covered with one type of bacteria, meaning we've controlled that variable for our subsequent investigation. What you need to do this is a loop, a spreader, and a very high technology wooden block. Before we can start, we have to make sure these are sterile so that we don't have any other bacteria affecting. So very quickly we heat it up just on the edge of the blue flame. That's it, fully sterile. We can't blow on it. We've got to try and keep it sterile. Hence the high technology wooden block. Same with the glass rod. You won't see this go red unless you melt it. So just run it through the flame a few times. That will now be sterile. Don't blow on it, don't touch it, leave it sitting down. You need to choose one bacteria colony so that that's all you introduce to your new flame. Now while we hold the lid up here so we're not infecting it, collect some of the bacteria colony here, bring it over here and start to spread it in a motion like this. You won't even see it there, it's so small. We come back, get some more, same colony always, bring it back over here, and we finish the whole plate like this. We're not digging into our pretend jelly. We turn it 90 degrees, do it again, probably pick up some more, do it some more. So very quickly, we've covered the whole plate with one type of bacteria. When you've finished using the spreader, you should have made a pattern on the agar like this. You won't be able to see it, but you can see that we've covered pretty much the whole agar plate with our spreader, being careful, of course, not to dig into it. Our second last job is to spread the bacteria out more with our glass spreader. So we come over to our new plate, open it, not letting things fall in, and spread out our bacteria all the way around so the whole plate is covered. We won't see anything at this point because it's so small, but the whole plate is covered. We keep it closed to keep it sterile. Our last job in the name of safety is to re-sterilize our loop and our spreader so that we're minimizing the risk of any disease.